about events as media bins? We've got lots of different ways to organize these media bins, but the default that Final Cut wants you to do is by date. But I think of the media bins as a little bit differently. I think of them more as the projects for each client. The way we name our events is each of our projects has a project code. And uh, that's what you see here, this 11036, um, this 11028, and 1102, that's supposed to be nine. What those project codes are is very simple. They're year-based, so it's 2011, and it's the 36th project we've done this year, or 2011 and the 28th project, 2011, the 29th project. Um, and, you know, really the, the goal is to just have a unique identifier so that we can always come back to that project and everything gets tied together with that project. After that unique identifier, then we do something that identifies the client. And in this case, uh, you see the client is AI. And then we do the name of the project. So in this case, the name of the project is small. And here's where things start to get confusing. The events, we think of them as projects. But of course, they're not projects because projects in Final Cut mean something else. So just make sure that when you're naming your events that you don't call them projects because then you'll have your projects down here and things will get really confusing. It'll be a real nightmare and you won't be able to sleep at night and all of that. So um, you can really, really confuse yourself. But here's the deal. Naming your events properly is really critically important because of the way that Final Cut manages the media on your hard drive. And we'll get to that in a second. So it's really important for you to name your events properly because of the way that Final Cut uh, stores the events on your hard drive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go choose an event and file reveal and finder. And what you'll see is that uh, Final Cut creates a folder called Final Cut Events. And then in that Final Cut Events folder is all of your events. And so here you see the 11036 uh, FHC overview event. Um, and then here is all of our original media. So you can see how if you're not naming your events properly or if you just uh, leave the dates or, or whatever the default is that Final Cut, you can wind up with a real mess here. You can actually move events from one drive to another, but with some pretty severe limitations. The way you do that is you select an event and you go file, move event. And you'll see here, it gives me a list of drives that are attached to this uh, computer. Uh, and so I could either move it to uh, Theseus, which is one of my internal drives, or I could move it to this handily named external drive. So you can move events from drive to drive. Here is the limitation. If you move your event to a drive that has a home folder, for instance, my internal drive, where it moves the event to is it moves it to user, movies, Final Cut events. That is your only option. That is the only place that Final Cut will move events to. Now, if you move your event to something like an external drive that does not have a home folder. And I'll go ahead and start that process. Where it moves the event to is, ex is to the root level of the external drive in a folder called Final Cut Events. And there we go, the 11036 uh, project that we're, event that we're working on.